Okay, so this is a 1851 London that we have just finished and we're going to use this piece to show um, how to regulate your sights on these. The sights are not regulated and it's a really important aspect of shooting these things with precision. So this gun has never been shot before. It's been loaded up with 21 grains of uh, 3F Swiss. Now we're going to go ahead and seat the nipples or the caps on the nipples like we discussed earlier and here at the range um, I'm actually going to use the hammer itself this is a good way to do it in the field or at a range if you're not in competition now this will get you throw it thrown out of a, a cowboy match or something like that but in the absence of a, a piece of deer horn or uh, whatever tool you choose to use to seat your nipples a really good way to do it is to actually pointing the gun in a safe direction down range, cock the hammer, letting it down on each nipple and slowly seating it gently with your thumb like this. That way in seating the nipple, um, if you're ever worried about it going off, you actually have control over what happens to it. Now that if that does go off, that ball is going to go exactly where you want it, down the barrel and down range. So while in competition, Manipulating your gun like that at the loading table, that's going to be a no-no. It's actually a very safe way to do it out in the field or uh, at a, a private range or if you're by yourself at the range. So we've just got a, this is like a local uh, cowboy club. We've got a target down there at 20 yards. It doesn't matter the distance, set it for what you want. But elevation on these is what it is. Elevation, there's, there's really not any adjustments. These are a copy of the original. They're set to be what they're set for. So the 60s are going to hit dead on at about 90 yards, you know, just like the originals. The 51s will vary based on the barrel length. So what we're really after here today is windage. And you can take it as serious as you want. I just use a carpet table to rest the barrel on. There's something you need to understand though whenever you're shooting in any pistol. Don't ever put any support under the butt. Not on a traditional, not on a traditional gun like this. Do not support the butt of the gun when you're taking a sight picture on anything like this. If you support the butt of the gun, that that gun, the recoil is going to be emphasized down on the grip. The gun actually won't recoil the way it will when you're holding it in your hand. So if you need two hands, you know, to stay steady, it that's fine. But your impact is going to be dramatically different. So don't ever shoot for a group or shoot to test the gun with with the grip. You'll only want to at least uh, rest the barrel, place the barrel in a rest, rest the barrel. Don't, don't put the butt of the gun on anything solid. It needs to be able to free to work with the recoil. You can stop it there. Okay, so for this, I'll actually just use this block of wood here. It doesn't really have to be that serious. I actually prefer to work, work with my guns a little bit. So you can use a rest. The problem is, uh, if you get too much of a rest, the gun is never going to be in a rest when you're using it, not when you're actually using not a gun like this. So don't get too carried away with trying to get, you know, a lead sled or anything, because that's not really what we're after here. You are regulating this gun to you, and the gun will hit who knows where. So I'm going to take the gun and just set the, the loading rod across here and whatever happens we've got to make sure that the, the butt of the gun stays free and and that's not enough okay right here my, my butt's touching the touching the ground here so I'm just gonna make this old really dirty block of wood here all right set the gun out across it like this let's see what happens Okay, so we got an impact about half an inch left at 20 yards, and what's that? Half an inch left, that's pretty good. Okay, you can see we've got a little, what, inch and a quarter, inch and a half group going on here. So your cold bore shot, that was this this guy right here. Your fouling shot will generally, on most of these uh, seven and a half inch barrels, in my experience, be about half an inch low. 
once you get a mild amount of fouling in the barrel that offers resistance to the bullet and uh, sometimes the velocity will pick up about 15 feet per second or so but um, so we're looking at a group that's favoring about half an inch left this gun's actually regulated really well so we're looking at a six inch target here so this would be three inches so we're approximately let's call it three and a half uh, inches high and half an inch left okay so that's that's going to be our sight regulation and now i'll show you how to go back at 20 yards exactly so i'll show you how to go back and and work with that okay um something to note too is your group size when you initially open your revolver up and get it out of the box this bead on these 51s is quite large um, I actually prefer to thin it and I'll show you that later and also the notch you know that's in this rear sight you've seen how fine that is and um, when you actually take that file and open these things up and regulate your sights you get a much more daylight through the sights and you can get a much better sight image as it is that's I'm pretty pretty happy with a a uh, group like that at this distance when you're, you're essentially you're just setting a big ball on top of the top of your hammer and you've got little reference mark much more than that. Okay so we're just going to use this triangle file here to slice down into the sight notch here and get us some more daylight coming through um, as they are. They, it's, it's pretty much just like setting a big ball uh, on top of that little slot there and it's difficult to get a sight reference and in order to maintain your sight alignment you also have to push the front sight up above the, the rear hammer like this and makes your gun shoot a little high so we're gonna you in, in this case the windage is pretty good so we're gonna file straight down and, and just bring that up and get a sight picture more like this and that'll also bring that front sight down into the notch more and get rid of some of that elevation. Okay, so these are the sight regulation formulas. Uh, the Colt 7.5 inch is actually 11.3 thousandths of an inch and that will move your impact an inch at 25. Colt Army uh, 8 inch barrel is 12 thousandths and here's the Remingtons as well we just use a set of reloading calibers that's the best way to measure these adjustments and it'll it'll get you right on so when we've got that done or in the event that you've you need a lot more windage you're going to um, slice down into that and move it over like this so that you've got uh, your, your good windage adjustment and so it's going to be offset in the in the hammer notch but at least your sights will be on that's how you correct the windage in these um, I'll just use a, a on the front side here we'll show you how to thin that I'm just going to use a, a sharper little triangle file to come down in after we've after we filed that open and, and clean it up It'll just give you a good good sight image. That's how you adjust the sights on these guns. They're a little primitive. Um, this is the way, you know, this is part of the fine tuning. This is the way they did it back then in the event that you don't have a windage driftable front sight. So you can actually get a mild amount of windage adjustment just by moving the front sight, the perceived center of the front sight left or right whichever direction we need so we can just take uh, electrical tape and I just cover the barrel like this and then you can use a just a square in file and bring that front side over whichever direction you need it's also good to narrow it I like to narrow it like this and get a lot more even more daylight coming through that notch and give you a, a more precise point on the top to work with for precision shooting this this works a lot better and if you're using the brass post this is this is the the best sight picture this is a sight picture that I like to use once you get those opened up uh, my 61 here is actually already been opened up and um, this required considerable regulation at this distance it was shooting about four inches right that's not uncommon so had to get pretty creative with this one and um, so we're going to be shooting at 25 yards now. We just stuck some clay pigeons on the back of the berm there, and we'll see 
see how we do. We'll try this, these ones offhand, more of a, a doula style, if you will. So I'll shoot the one on the left. Let me know when you're good. Oh, you're recording. Okay, so we've got an uh, 18 inch silhouette down there to the left of that crooked tree. This is, this is a, basically just a three gun range. So I'm going to show you um, the, the, these pistols, the distance, I mean, they're, they're really equivalent to a modern pistol. A hundred yard shot like that, even offhand with something like this, is no problem. Okay. And that turkey makes me nervous. All right, keep your eye on him. I don't want to have to kill that thing. There we go. And That's that a, hit. a hit. Is this thing gonna let me in the truck? Yeah, man, dude. Yeah.